Welcome everybody to World of Tanks bonus videos. My name is Maxwell and today I've got a replay for you from Nemanja5431. That's Nemanja5431. He's driving the back chat 25 ton on a standard battle on the northwest. So quite oftentimes I get sent replays uh, during the week that are interesting, entertainment, entertaining or a little bit awesome in their own right but not necessarily the kind of video uh, replay that I would want to bring in a full subscriber replay video. And that's not to say that the video itself isn't great, right, the skill or the action or whatnot, but it just doesn't fit with the theme and the style, like the overall, the overall play of the video of the replay isn't generally what I look for in subscriber replays. So what I've decided to do with these replays is on a weekend, uh, on a Saturday, and possibly a Sunday going forward, depending on how many of these I find, uh, I'm going to bring you World of Tanks bonus videos. So, this first one here is in the bat chat, and the video itself is a little bit slow to get going. <coughs> there isn't very much action, to be perfectly honest with you, but it's just the, the, way the, the way that the game goes. It's pretty funny, it's pretty surprising and unexpected, and it's just, it's interesting, it's worth a watch to say the least, um, but it's definitely not a replay that I would have picked if I was just doing subscriber replays, because it doesn't really fit. You've seen the manager trying to get a shot on that D5 there, he just luckily backed off in time, just as he had a shot, just backing off there because he knew he was spotted, doesn't want to take a hit from anybody, still can't quite find anything on this E5 just as he fades away, he's just playing it very, very carefully here. Keeping himself poked out, finds a 113, and almost certainly going to be able to get a shot on him, which he does indeed. Takes some return fire, but no return damage. And I think at this point, he's had a look at his mini-map, and he's seeing how the battle is going in the south there, knowing that that's going to be a little bit difficult. So he's uh, backing off here, and probably going to go and try and help his allies in the south. So it makes the trek back. He's going to turn right at the Waffen trigger here. Uh, before we get too far in the replay as well, if you're watching this on the day that it goes live, which is Saturday, I just want to remind you that it is the World of Tanks Dream Team tonight. You can watch that on a variety of different people's channels. Uh, I know for a fact Circumflexes will be streaming. High Flyer almost certainly streams every week, every, uh, every time we do the Dream Team as well. So if you want to watch it live, it'll be on those Twitch TV channels. If you can't make it to the live event, which is tonight from, I think... 8 p.m. or maybe 7 p.m. Central. Uh, that's European time. If you can't make it live to that, then obviously I'm going to be putting the... Well, not quite the highlights, the unabridged version up on my YouTube channel after the fact all through next week. You can expect maybe a little bit of a slowdown from subscriber replays, but we'll see. Might just put four videos out on days when I do that, when I put out the Dream Team stuff. So, heading around the rear of the enemy, going to try and catch some people off guard. Finds the enemy bat chat here, going to try and get a shot on him. Just a little bit of reticule lag there, means that he misses his first shot. Doesn't miss his second though, gets some damage on him. Hits his third as well. He's got one more shot left, but the enemy bat chat gets himself behind some rocks, so he takes that opportunity to reload. And I think here, he's realised how the fight's going in the south on that right hand flank there. I mean, he could really just steam in and try and do what he wanted to help out. Do what he could. But to be honest, there are so many tanks there. Oh, enemy bat chat is chasing after him here. Has a shot, doesn't quite do any damage. And then for some reason des decides to turn around and just drive away. So Nemanja actually making the best choice that he possibly could here, which is there's no way he's going to be able to assault into all of those tanks. Even if just 25% of them, a quarter of them, turned around and ganged up on him, that would be curtains for him fairly quickly. So he's decided to do the only thing he can, which is approach the enemy base and start a base capture. Hopefully he can draw these tanks back one at a time. You can see the enemy started a base capture as well, but the FV4202 has gotten back to base and reset that one on the WZ. And you see he's picked the best spot he possibly could here. I probably would have picked the bush uh, just there. But as you're going to see, that probably would have been a mistake. Because now he's far enough to the left 
of the cap circle that people have to come all the way up that hill to assault him and he's got these logs in front of them of him and while they won't provide very much actual hard cover because you can shoot through them people aren't going to know if they're going to hit so they invariably aim for the turret gets a nice hit on the bat chat there can he get a second he can indeed all oh, the enemy bat chat misses and uh, he takes him out and that is fantastic fantastic work there to take him out Now he's got only 28 seconds left on the cap clock and what was a little bit of a pipe dream is actually turning into the possibility of a reality here. The enemy's got tanks in their base and uh, but that FV is doing a fantastic job of resetting those guys, getting shots on them every single time. Just about 10 seconds on the clock now and E50 turns up but he's just got to hold him off for long enough. The E50's got 5 seconds to reset. He's still reloading his cannon so there's nothing he can do. The E50 misses and that is GG and all she wrote. Snatching the victory from the claws of defeat there. Only tank left on the team. He's able to take the victory away from the attacking team. It was uh, 14 kills to 3. The enemy team still had 12 tanks left on the field. And Nemanja 5431 was able to steal their victory away and say, screw you, not today, I'll have this one, thank you very much. So that's going to be it for the World of Tanks bonus video, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and as you can see, why this one didn't make it into subscriber replays, but why I still wanted to bring you the video, because it was just what an ending, what an ending. So thanks very much for watching everybody, this has been World of Tanks bonus videos, I've been Maxwell, and I'll catch you guys next time.